refresh. Is it not working? <laughs> I think it's starting. Did it? It says it did. Can you guys see us? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, now. yes, it is. Go shut the door. Listen. We're live now. <laughs> okay. Huh? Why? Oh, I know. She's fine. Is she fine? Yeah, if she be quiet. I talked to her. Remember, you're going to have to sit and be nice. You can sit on my lap if you want. Okay, you want to say hi to everyone? Say hello, hello. Would you like to say, say to the camera right there, say, welcome to Celtic Cup of Coffee 48. Uh, no, why not? too long? Say it? It's too long. Say so welcome. You can. Okay. Why? Because I want you to. Okay. What if we say it together? Hello. Oh, Diana says hi, Harper. Melanie says hi, Harper. Yeah, Want to say hi, hi, Melanie? Hi, Diana. Guess what? All of a sudden, she's shy. <laughs> she hasn't been shy all day. <laughs> Harper, guess what? Today, we're doing it on my daddy. So, what do you say? Oh, daddy. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's, she's like, nah. She's been so talkative today. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden you have nothing to say? Nah. Okay, well, we'll say hi to everyone first. We'll and then, oh, back. thank you, Denise. We'll get Thanks going and then she'll be like, ah. Yep, and then she won't stop talking. <laughs> Hi Steph, hi Diana, hi Melanie, hi Heather, aww. So when they started beautiful. saying hi and then they were like, Harper's like, did someone else say hi to me? Who was it? What was their name? <laughs> I'm gonna take names. Mary, hi Mary. Hello I'm everybody. Your videos. I'm seeing your mom if it were for a bit, however, return. What consequences did you have after the return? Okay, we'll have to answer these questions afterwards. We're gonna do the order history. Today's number 48, which is Michelle Daddy. Dad, Which hi. Is, <laughs> he's probably watching. We've been hearing a lot of people in the order really excited about this episode, so there's probably a lot of silent watchers today from the order. But um, her dad is also my uncle, so my dad's half brother. They have the same dad. And his brother-in-law. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. Because he, so the sisters, all four of the sisters that your dad married, are my dad's sisters. No, three. No, three. Three. Where's the four? Oh, I didn't know that. So her dad, all of her sisters, all of her dad's sisters married David and Jesse. Mm -hmm. So um, if Do you guys don't know who David, David is, David went to prison and he was number 33. If you want more information on David, go to Cult the Cup of Coffee number 33. But he is full brothers with Jesse, who is Michelle's dad. And Jesse, so yeah, Jesse and David are the ones that married all of my dad's sisters. Mm -hmm. All of them. Except for one did marry the youngest one, but she passed oh, away. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We did talk oh, about and then, Oh, and then your sister that married Jacob and then left him. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, Never mind. My dad's Never sister. Never mind. Let's start over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. The ones that are married now are married to those two, is what I'm saying. Right? Yeah. <laughs> in every, every sister of my dad's in the order is married to either Jesse, her dad, or David. David. Two people. Okay. Does that make it easier? <laughs> Flicker fade. Say hi, Harper. Say hi, Flicker fade. No? Okay. Okay. She was looking for her shirt to wear today, but she couldn't find it. Yeah, her Kyle She's Grant like, where's shirt. my Amanda shirt? <laughs> She's like, I want Amanda pants too. <laughs> Remember when you said that? Yeah, and Amanda shoes and Amanda. And Amanda shoes. And Amanda and Amanda socks. And not Amanda socks. Not Amanda panties. <laughs> and the panties and the mom and the socks. All of it. And a hat. Mm. Kate, Caitlin says hi Harper. Todd says hi Harper. <laughs> hi Jane. Um, this little girl with braids. That's Harper. Sorry, I just skipped down. Let's go back up. Hi Jane. Hi Emily. Oh, Emily says hi Harper. <laughs> My toddler is waving to Harper. Oh. So there's a little kid waving to you through the screen. Say hi now. Say hi. <laughs> hi Danielle. <laughs> no, no, he says, oh daddy. <laughs> what is that? What did she say? Oh, daddy. 
Oh, Daddy. There you go. There it is. Like, now she you will can warm start. up. <laughs> there we Jeez. can start now. You told her to be quiet and good, and she took that to heart. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, Morgan. Oh gosh. Hi, Claudia. Claudia says hi, Harper. <laughs> Hi, Rochelle Devin. said hi. Hi, Auntie Rochelle. Okay, so, oh, thank you, Diana, for the donation. Oh, Rochelle's here. She says she got a leak, though. Oh. She'll be back. Okay. Okay, let's hurry and get into the history, and then we'll answer some of your guys' questions. So, I'm going to start with what I know and my experiences with your dad. Can I tell you something? I don't think I told you this story. We was at uh, an order dance, and he thought he was, like, so funny. And we was, we was walking, me and my friend, who was one of David's daughters, were walking out to the da of the dance to go to the parking lot, and your dad was holding the door open, and, no, 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 we were holding the door open for your dad, sorry. Me and her were holding the door open, letting your dad go through, and then um, she, David's daughter, was like, tips, and your dad was like, oh, here's a tip. Oh, yeah. Oh, I did tell you this already. No, but I just know my dad. He does that? He just thinks he's a He thinks he's so artist. funny. And I can't even remember what the tip was, but me and my friend looked at each other and like, ha, ha, ha. He's not that funny. It's not funny at all. I think he thinks he's hilarious. He does. And then <laughs> after I left the order, I went to a funeral. And he's married to a lot of my dad's sisters, right? So we were like kind of shaking hands with people. And I, was sh I shook hands with my aunts that are your dad's wives. And then he was in line. And I put my hand behind my back and I was like, no. He was so like shocked the shock on his face was years ago but i was i was shocked that he was shocked i'm like are you really think i'm gonna shake your hand but well, you, just you really like, aren't the shit <laughs> but he thinks he is he, he does <laughs> and then okay I have, this is my last story and then obviously michelle's got pages of stories for you guys <laughs> we could write a book um he so i was pretty good friends with one of Jesse's kids, <laughs> and we actually worked together because, and Jesse like was over, what was it, Alan's puppy? Mm -hmm. Well, he's over multiple businesses. Anyways, I was working and getting to know one of Jesse's kids, and they were telling me about how Jesse's like very quick to anger, and I didn't know this because he, he keeps his composure, so I, I, how would I know I'm not his kid, but they were telling me that one time they were home. I found, I felt it in the beatings. <laughs> in the beatings, you, you could tell? <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at that? <laughs> my, my trauma will make her famous one day. <laughs> one day. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, dang it, what was oh, so they hadn't seen your dad for a while because he has however many wives. So he goes to the house and this kid, I think it was around Harper's age, the kid was so excited to see him, but he had food all over his hands and he went to go give your dad a hug and he touched his, his suit. And your dad basically, this is what they did. They beat the living sh out of the kid. Out of the kid. <laughs> yeah. And the kid just wanted to say hi to their dad. No, and that's where the how to be a good wife comes in. Because it mm. says, and my dad taught us this. He's like, they need to be proper and like their little, their dad's little treasures. So they need to make sure the it's the wife's responsibility to make sure that the kids are clean and well kept and ready for the dad to come home. Yeah. So the dad can come home and do nothing. That's the, that's the goal here. Is oh, to make sure that the dad does nothing. Let, so let's read how to be a good wife. Should we? <laughs> well, we don't have to read the whole thing. But we let, have it memorized. <laughs> let me go off of what I remember, and this will tell you. This will describe my dad. This is what he expects. The washer can't be on. No noises. Everything needs to be clean. You need to be ready to be at his service. I don't remember it word for word, but mm -hmm. that's my dad. Well, yeah, to have it be clean. And then it even said, like, don't have the washer and dryer running to, yeah. be, to be loud. Like, make sure that it's not loud from. And I and remember the there was a talk, too, that said, like, make sure that the kids are respectful of the house and that the wife is. Like, to, you should take your shoes off and respect the house. But if the husband wants to come walk through the house in his shoes, then he can. It's like, his house, yeah. Why all of the women would be better off single than with someone like this? <laughs> Like, honestly. I know. Harper laughing at the comments. Aww, they <laughs> like your laugh. <laughs> okay. So that's all I really have on him. And obviously, I know him as much as anyone in the order probably would know without being his kid. I know that I remember dancing with him briefly. Not like he asked me to dance, but you remember that the dance? Circle the circle dance. I remember that was like the one memory I have of dancing with him. And I remember thinking, this is weird. This is... My dad's sister's husband, okay. or and my uncle, yeah. and technically their brother. Yeah, <laughs> so, 
I always thought that that circle dance was kind of like their way of getting to dance with these young girls without being going to them. Yeah. Anyway. Are we ready for your receipts? <laughs> yeah. I, I, show, I showed Sorry. them it. Showed them your nails? Yes. Yeah, we painted the nails today for everyone. Amanda huh? did it, huh? Do you want to show the camera? Oh, the camera's right there. Where the boots? Okay. You need you to get off my lap while I read these. Because there's pages on pages mm -hmm. on pages. So listen up. <laughs> you guys ready? <laughs> Okay. Says, hi, Harper. Say hi, you Harper. want to sit down right here? Okay. <laughs> Jesse, are we talking about the true things or the good things? The council can't talk about both. <laughs> <laughs> the true things or the good things? Okay. So the good things are the lies that he says about himself? <laughs> yeah. Well, like, well, so I was calling everybody because I'm like, does anybody have a good thing to say yeah. about Jesse? <laughs> and not <laughs> Single person. Wow. They're like, well, and even the things they were like, well, this wasn't as bad, but it was always not as bad. It wasn't good. Wow. There was not a single nice thing that Jesse had done. Well, when he was gone, they have liked it. That's like that's what happened <laughs> when he wasn't at the house. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, sit down, please, and you need to be quiet, okay? Okay. Jesse Orville Kingston, my daddy, <laughs> born July 17th, 1967. He always said, the one above you is innocent in everything they do. Why did they push that thought in Jesse's family? I finally found out the answer because I couldn't find a single person with an honest, positive thing to say about Jesse. <laughs> he was the eighth child of nine of LaDonna and Ortel. Oh, I didn't know he was the eighth. I thought he was one of the older ones. So he's younger yeah. than Daniel? Oh, I thought you were falling. No, he's the second youngest. He's the sixth of the seven brothers. He's allergic to sweets. Favorite color, if I remember right, is purple and blue. Loves Star Wars toys. <laughs> Arguably, his best child is number 51. Yes, that is me. <laughs> <laughs> Arguably, the best. Uh, the first to leave the order. The first of Jesse's kids to leave the order. Leave the order by themselves. Mm. And then, people have told me that when they were a kid going over to Ortel's house, Seeing the boys, Jesse and David's room, there were where there was virtually naked pictures of women on the walls. Sports Illustrated magazines. Jesse? Wow. So I thought that was against the order standards. What well, what are those? <laughs> I guess if it's the one above you, then they can do no wrong. I know, see? Once again, let's go back to the top. One above you is innocent in everything they do. LaDonna let them have posters in their room like that? I guess. That's what they said. Can you stop? You bugging. Jesse was the spoiled baby of LaDonna's family for nine years before Jason, the youngest, came along. And the same thing happened to him. Spoiled baby? <laughs> yeah, he was a spoiled baby. And he married his first wife, who was his half-sister, her dad's sister, mm -hmm. as the first. On six, July 2nd, 1984, How second old? wife. Was he? He was 17 and I, she was 16. Okay, so his first wife was his half-sister at 16 and he was 17. Yeah, second wife was his cousin in 19, 1985, third wife, half-sister, and full sister to the first wife. Mm -hmm. um, so two of my dad's sisters by the time he's like three years into being married, right? Mm -hmm. He got married year after year. Then the third wife was August 23rd, 1986, fourth wife, his half-sister, fifth wife, his half-sister, and full sister to wife number one and three. Sixth wife, my mom, and his niece. We can go on and on. Oh, and his niece. So, so was your mom the first niece that he married? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. So, like, out of six wives, one of them is not his half sister, or his niece. And out of five wives, one of them is not his half sister. Imagine that. Wow. I couldn't look very far. <laughs> and that's probably why he needs glasses. <laughs> he needs glasses because he can't see very far. Yeah. Wow. So it was every year, boom, 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 boom. For the first three years, I know for sure. Okay. But the, after that, I'm not positive. And then that would make his first wife 16 when they got married. And our dad told stories about when they had their first kid, they had to call an ambulance because of complications. And he felt like they were being judged for being kids, having a kid. What? Well, I, we don't necessarily judge that as much as you being with your sister. <laughs> well, the, he's saying like the ambulance, like the paramedics, they came because they Did had they to- Did they 
I feel like he that said that they felt like they were being judged. Mm-hmm. Is what he would tell us. And then he first, when he was first married, this came from one of his wives. First, when they were first married, there were schedules printed on a calendar with a swimsuit model. And his wife would say, he would call him and tell him. So the wives had to call Mama. and say, what? I want some water in there. You go ask you, Danny. I think there's water. Oh, she got it. Go ask Dad. So he would have all the wives call in and say, hey, I'm on my period. Hey, so he can track when they're ovulating and most fertile so they can get pregnant. And so one of them, he would, they would call in and say, the red, the red dragon came today. She'll be here for the next week. Oh my gosh. Wait. Here, take this. Here you go. Oh, this in the, in, I want that in there. Papa, I thought she was going to be mine. There you go. Um, so, okay, okay, can you say that again? There was a calendar with like a half naked lady on it. So for their schedules of when he was coming over, then there were it was swimsuit model calendar. Was your did your sorry? I have a question. <laughs> I know for a lot of order members know that sometimes some of these men would get calendars made, like sexy calendars of, of their the wives. wives. There was, he there was talk about it. I don't know if they they actually went through with it, but I know there was talk about them doing it. That does feel so degrading. Like, can you imagine like being with your sisters who are also with him? And, like, well, like imagine everyone looking at that pic- that cam- calendar Ew. and putting it together. But yeah, so when I was a kid, he told us stories about when he was a kid, and he would say like there was a story about him going down to St. George for either the track team or some kind of team. And he was with two of his friends, and one of them was saying, like, just try it, Jess, just try it. I don't remember what it was, but it was something, like, I don't know, not crazy, but. And then, and he was saying how he doesn't need to try drugs and sex, etc., because he told him, if your parents tell you not to touch a hot stove, do you still need to try it, just to try it? So he was telling his friends, like, why would you have sex or do drugs or whatever it was, like, why would you need? Why to would you need to try it? If your parents say no, then just don't do it. Yeah. So he like, was. Do you touch? Do, do you touch the hot stove? Well, we hear all the stories about. This is a story from him. So yeah. Oh, that's true. You never know. My dad said is still convinced. Tries to convince the kids that he never swore in his entire life. Oh. Never once. Not even on accident. Come here. So, but that came from his mouth. So. We know he lies though. <laughs> so. Uh, I I need to. Um, Okay, sit down and be quiet then. I probably wanted to go here. Okay, okay, sit down then. Sit. Okay, go in there. Do you want to go in there? Okay. And then the other friend, he said that the other friend saw Jesse and was like, I want to be just like you, Jess. Because everyone called him Jess when he was younger. Some of his wives called him Jess as they were older. And in our girls' mini, he would tell us how blessed we were to have a period. And, like, the other kids are like, like, all looking at him. And I was like, excuse me, when was your last period? Why were we blessed? Excuse me, sir. Because you could bring life into the world? Yeah. Well. When, so Jesse took my mom to get, to ask her to marry him. He took her to his favorite restaurant, which was a seafood restaurant. My mom is allergic to seafood, but she didn't want to make Jesse feel bad. I'm look, seeing a trend here. Anyway, Your poor mother. What, did she have so, an allergy for him? <laughs> so she didn't say anything and went along with it. I believe she had a small bite of seafood, but she ended up needing to go to the hospital because she couldn't breathe. Was this the first time you took someone's breath away? Probably. <laughs> um, is, that the only way he, is that the only way he knows how? Probably. <laughs> Unless he knocks the wind out of you. Um, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 wait. So, your mom didn't take that as direction to not marry him? (laughs) No, I think she said that she knew she was supposed to marry him when she was eight, too, just like me. And then, anyways, my mom's dad was mad at Jesse and thought he should know what she's allergic to, being she's his niece, especially if he's trying to marry them. Yeah. And then his second wife left when she was eight months pregnant with their seventh child, sixth living child in 1997. 
Wow. The fifth wife died October 31st, 2009. That was one year. We talked about this um, in Julie. If you guys didn't see Julie's story, you definitely should watch it. She talks about her experience being the seventh wife to Paul's oldest son. And Julie talks about how this story, it was my dad's sister who died because your dad, I, I blame your dad, but. Well, she was the one who like the kids were called and it was Halloween and the kids called and they were like, hey, mom's sick, like, sh can we, like, what should we do? And he's like, well, I, if I wanted to talk to you, I'd be at your house, so don't call mm -hmm. me. And from what I'm, so I was friends with that, that kid and they were telling me stories about this too and how his mm -hmm. mom was so mad that Jesse was doing that, that Jesse did that. And yeah. a lot of people blamed Jesse for the, that wife passing away because yeah. she had tried to go to the hospital. And mm -hmm. if you watch Julie's story, she talks about how that example and what they did to her kids after she died, that was enough to make her want to leave because she was that, scared. That was enough to show my mom, like, so my mom, my mom almost died a few times. And my mom was like, if I die, look what will happen to their kids. Look what Jesse did to their kids. So I can't, I have to live for my kids. Yeah. But my mom almost died in a few times, 2010, 2015. Once she was pregnant with an infection, I believe her kidneys were failing and her mom, my grandma, took her to the hospital and that pissed Jesse off. The first wife, why died. was he mad? Because it was gonna be expensive or? Well, because they didn't ask him first. Oh my gosh. But yeah. And then during that pregnancy, well, at the end of the pregnancy, Jesse was out of town and my grandma was like, I'm not delivering your baby by yourself, by myself here at your house. And she was like, please, I can't, I can't call him. He's out of town. I need to just have him, the kid here. And my grandma like forced her to. And then he like still held it against her. Like, remember when you went to the hospital and had that baby without even telling me? Tried to guilt her into going and taking care of herself? Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> once again, <laughs> notice the trend. First wife died. April 9th, 2020, age 52, because she was on a 40 day, so this is what I was told. She was on a 40 day fast and went hiking, then took a bath, and she was later found passed out in the tub. Why some, was she fasting? Some say she was trying to increase her scorecard with Jesse, trying to do two to four, two 40 day fasts in a year to keep up with the other sister wives. Sister wives. Sister wives. Sister wives. <laughs> wow. What? And she was. Okay, sit down then. You can't keep going back and forth. Go shut the door. Because Jesse would always pin the other wives against each other and be like, do you know how many times this wife did a 40-day fast? Do you know how many times this? How many have you done? I remember hearing him say that to like my mom and I was like, how many has he done? I don't know, actually. That's a good point. Oh, no, no, no. So they would say, I asked my mom, I'm like, has he ever done one? And it's like, well, he can't because he's training for the marathon. He's oh training for the half marathon. Gosh. So probably not. So then I would just train for a marathon for my whole life so I wouldn't have to do a fast just like him. <laughs> yeah. Wow. People, so, but no, it's one of the wives were train, was training for the half marathon and she still did it. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. So what's Jesse's excuse? <laughs> the one above who is innocent in everything they oh, do. Oh, that's true. That's a very good point. He always, always pushed that. My apologies. So it's believed that she was competing and that's why she felt like she had to do this 40 By a lot fast. of people, yeah. Wow. But people have said. said his last wife has threatened to leave him multiple times. She cheated on and that she cheated on him multiple times and once actually became pregnant. With a, an, an outsider's baby? Mm -hmm. No. And it was said that my dad didn't want that embarrassment so he made her do a fruit fast to make sure she would lose the baby. I was there a few times when she had her kids and someone would say, want to hold the baby before the mom ruins them? Because she hated kids um. from what I saw. Which is sad, but when was the supposed fruit fast? Were you? Were you she was pregnant. And, and how the, old were you? Do you remember that? I was, yeah, I was young because her kid stayed at our house while she was in the hospital with my mom. How was? How would he know that a fruit fast would do that? Would well, if you're you starving yourself. Medicine? Wow. I don't know if it was a fruit fast or an actual fast, but I know that there's yeah. some form of fasting going on. Is what people have said, yeah. But. So my dad would have mom's meetings and girls' meetings and family meetings. I always got to have a meeting. Mm -hmm. I'll so, have a meeting about it. So I was told that in one of the mom's meetings, my dad said that songs are bad, like everyday songs. Because you know how we didn't watch a lot of TV? Mm -hmm. And like that's 
kind of rare in all of us who have left the order. And it's like I've seen little, I guess. Well, we were told not to watch certain movies, but we, we watched it. But we didn't watch very many, much mm -hmm. TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But so he, my dad said, Jesse said, that songs are bad. And one wife, one that he didn't like, said, what about a thousand years? It talks about loving you for a thousand years and I'll love you for a thousand more. Yeah. You want to know Jesse's response? What? Or can you guess? <laughs> he said, so you're going to love your husband for 2,000 years and that's it? Then what? Oh my god. Then what? Gosh. You're just not going to love him anymore? You know, you're really hard to love. <laughs> no, okay, now, now listen to this. Then, the first wife's daughter, one he did like, one of his favorite daughters, in my opinion, got married. And guess what song she asked her sisters to sing? That one? A thousand years. Wow. And guess what? My dad approved it. Because the at weddings, they have to approve all the songs. I actually performed that song at one of my friend's weddings. Yeah. I played the guitar. <laughs> yeah, so... You like the pick and choosing of when you get to follow the rules. A thousand years. Um, you say like the wife that he liked the least. Did he like any of them? Was there only two that he liked the most? Well. Because they said the first wife was the favorite. A well, lot two of people and three. Said that. Two and three? Well, I mean one, two, one, three, and the last one is what people think are his the favorite. His sisters were his favorites? Really? <laughs> well, not all the sisters, but yeah. Like the first two that are sisters, yeah. Wow. But, and then, so, I just remember I said that one of his wives actually left him. So, this is from one of his wives, previous wives. I said, describe Jesse, controlling narcissist, doesn't have an encouraging word about anyone, never said anything good about the kids or anyone, takes his power from demeaning others, and a total disregard for human life. That, actually, he has said nice things about Paul. Paul being a heavenly father, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. And about himself. Yeah. That's a, he says good things about himself. <laughs> not, not anyone else, so. <laughs> so, Jesse saw his kids, whose the mom left after years. He went around the table and tore each of them apart before he even said, wow, it's nice to see you. And it had been years. What, the, what kind of things did he say? Just, like, judging them? Well, for one of them, it was like, I see you still have scoliosis. If you could talk to me, and I would help you find a doctor here in Salt Lake. Oh so it God. was like shitty things. What a jerk. To his own kids, he hasn't seen in years. Yeah. But so at, this is what I heard from one of the moms. At a mom's meeting, he told the moms to make sure the kids' breakfast included four things, and he listed them off. The list included orange juice. However, Jesse is allergic to sweets, which means a lot of his kids can't eat sweets. Cause that's how genetics work <laughs> um i believe it's called fructose intolerant and not all of his kids can have sweets like orange juice jesse got mad because a mom didn't force all the kids to have it and tore her apart saying she wasn't listening to him and respecting him following the one above even at the risk of the child's life wow they said jesse always made every situation worse she knew on her wedding day she made a mistake he left her at the wife he left the wife at her, like where she lived, and took the first wife home and never came back. He said it wasn't her business where he went and not to question The him. wedding night he left to go be with the first wife? Yeah. Wow. Honestly, it's probably better. better <laughs> I'd be for order you men there. intolerant. <laughs> order men intolerant. Someone said, let order, let, just know if you're in the order not to marry Jesse. I have a little story, sorry, a little intermission second. I forgot to tell you this. I think I have told you this actually. My mom, Jessie, was a choice for her. Did you oh, know yeah. that? And so sometimes when we would get like upset, when I would get upset with my dad, then my mom would be like, you could have been Jessie's kid. And I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, where did I go? Oh, yeah. Um, a wife would question, why is this like this? Why is this like this? Et cetera. And Jessie would say, no one else has an issue but you, in a way to gaslight them and pit them against each other. I myself has, have heard at least three different wives say they were told that, but yet the other wives were saying the same things mm -hmm. about the same topic. So he's so everyone, gaslighting them. Mm -hmm. yeah. There were multiple people then with the same issues, but he's just trying to tell them that they oh, it's, it's just them you. That crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's just you, so figure it out. It's not my issue. Yeah, Maybe. here's Jesse's girl. <laughs> Jesse's girl! <laughs> I never even heard that song until one of the first wives was listening to it, and I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, you never heard the song is we're all Jesse's girls and I, and then they like started using that 
Did your dad ever do that? I heard that David would do this with his kids. He'd be like, look around with all these kids. They're way prettier than any kids on the outside. Did your dad do yeah. that? Some Even of them like, aren't. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> they not. I could say that. <laughs> so they had a child pass away and said he was only nice. Nice for Jesse, not like actually nice. When that child died, he tried to spend more time with them and took the mom to movies. But Jesse did blame the child's death on the mother's inability to be obedient. What? Every trip with Jesse was terrible. So she said she went to San Francisco with your mom's sister, who's married to your dad, and one of David's wives. And it was, she said it was so miserable she thought about taking a taxi and flying back. I can say that's 100% true. In my opinion, from all the trips I went on, it's always miserable with my dad. One page down. Is it even fun for him? Yeah, because if he's bossing everyone around, then he just does whatever he wants. Yeah. So, and then this girl had a, she, she was, her car broke down and she walked to like a diner. This was while you guys were on vacation? No, this oh. was the next story. Oh, okay. okay. So she walked to a diner and sh there were police in there. She asked the police to give her and her six month old baby a ride home because her car broke down and knew it wouldn't do any good to call Jesse. She ended up walking home because the police said they like they couldn't. They couldn't take her home. Yeah. No, well, because like I think they were on duty or something. Uh, I I just spit in their room because they didn't want to just sit in there. Okay. And they were scared. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
they might get pissed off. Yeah, they will tattle to on you if you say yeah. And then mom wanted her to form her own opinion about Jesse, so she didn't tell him a whole bunch. So mm -hmm. she was like, well, we just aren't there anymore. Yeah. And then Jesse only came to three of the kids, three of the six living kids, three of their graduation, high school graduations. Mostly brought the first wife with them. And so the first one, Jesse handed, at her graduation, handed her a business card with him in a stormtrooper costume on it. What was the point of that? Because he had, because he was part of the, he's part of the 501st. His number's TK4803. Oh my god! And gosh. he was like, what look, it's 48. It's messy. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're going to post him in his Stormtrooper outfit again. It's online. You can find it. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that was his Boba Fett costume. He has oh, multiple. I don't know what they are. <laughs> and then one of the kids... He has enough money... Sorry. He has enough money to pay for these expensive costumes, but not enough to pay for child support. No. Interesting. No. Fascinating. And one of the kids needed surgery and braces, and Jesse said he wouldn't help unless he picked the doctor in Salt Lake. Jesse claimed to the court, yeah, that he was making $9 an hour. So this girl, she wanted to leave the state after a breakup. So she reached out to Jesse six months before moving down. Because, like, she had not known about her dad very yeah, much. Yeah, she didn't know that he was like that. I love you. Good night. Good night. Love you. You say good night to the other camera? Say bye. <laughs> I don't think she it showed it. Oh, she just said it. Oh, well. So she asked Jesse to help her look for a job in Salt Lake, not realizing it would be an order job. But they told her that they would work at the gun company, she, and she didn't realize how intertwined all the wives were. When she came down, Jesse took her to Rodizio Grill. And so here's the thing. I was in my mom's office one day, and he walked in and was like, Michelle, like, how am I supposed to treat her? Like, what do I do? What do I say? What do I... Like, my mom helped him form the texts. Like, that's how to bad it was. To his daughter? To his daughter. Because he was act. like, I don't know how to treat him. Dustin, will you go downstairs and open the door? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's here? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and so he asked my mom how to treat her and be nice to her. And she said she bought... He bought her flowers on her birthday. Personally, I never remember my dad buying my mom flowers. Really? Yeah. And bought a vacuum for her apartment. So to compare, for my mom's birthday, he would ask my mom what she wanted for her birthday. And when she told him, she would typically say like, oh, I just wanna get my car, car cleaned. Oh, I wanna get the dishwasher fixed. Like not like extravagant yeah. things, things she needed, except like the car cleaned, that's something she wanted, but that's not very expensive. But he would tell her how stupid that was and he would be like, why so your kids can just break it again? Am I just supposed to buy it so your kids can break it? Listen, your kids can just break it, not our kids. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, too, to, to compare. Like, he was willing to get flowers for this girl to try to bring her into the order. Into the order, But yeah. wasn't even willing to do that for his own wife. Yeah. And so my mom stopped asking for things and just said nothing. As far as I know, once she started saying, oh, nothing, then he didn't get her anything. Wow. As far as I know. Could what a on. great guy. Where does Daddy go? He's going. Yeah, he's going back up. You go to bed? Um, I'm going to get my medicine. Yeah, okay. I just need to go to bed. It's my bedtime. You want a cough drop? <laughs> no, she has her allergy medicine. Mm. Okay, hold she on just a minute. Baby. Oh. And okay, she you said, keep going. having oh, a whole life outside of the order, then coming back, it was so weird. Staying, she stayed for a year, about a year, and decided it was not for her. She asked for a raise after a year working at the order company, and he said, her boss said, we don't give raises here. And Jesse told her she had to agree to $13 an hour, but was expected to pay rent and everything. She put her two weeks in because she was done, and Jesse called the next day and asked for a meeting. She went to lunch and Jesse asked why she was leaving. She said Salt Lake wasn't for her. He, she said that he, al he always talks to you like you're a child. He's like, okay, let's work on this. And like you're the, he's the only one in the class with the brain. Can you raise him over there? Yeah, you can. If you be nice. 
He doesn't like being he alone. Talks, she said he talks to you like you're a five-year-old. And when did she realize, when did the daughter realize that she didn't like Jesse? When she came back, she was like, what the hell, like, you got my dad? <laughs> I want a refund. <laughs> no. Can I get an exchange? <laughs> this one's broken. <laughs> <laughs> and so Jesse, when he met with her, so she put in her two weeks, and then Jesse called her and asked to meet the next day. And like, <coughs> he, and remember, for me, he never had time for a meeting. Mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, he has all this free time for this one. Yeah. And he was like, why are you leaving? And he said, well, Salt Lake's not for me. And he said, in the, here in the order, we do courtships. And the men ask the girl's father for their girl's hand in marriage. And she's like, wait, what? I'm not trying to get married. And he said, I'm not ready to get married. And he said, let me finish. And then he said, three men came forward. Oh, came forward on her? Already? Yeah. And does she even know what come forward is? is she no, even? well, this is him explaining it. Oh. Here in the order, we do courtships. And then it said, one of them was your dad's brother's kid. Oh. He's left the order now. Oh, okay, I know who you're talking about. And one was her boss. Oh my gosh. And then one was... Do we want to say who they are? I don't think we we'll say the name. Not no. the name, but do we want to say how they can relate. understand who they are? We can if they. You're not in it. <laughs> not in no, it. Oh, no, you guys are. Let's ask Cole. What's up, guys? Esco. I just made it. Did he come He's speeding to come here so that he could be a part of it. <laughs> you guys are stuck with him <laughs> and all then, day today. <laughs> <laughs> and then. So one of them was Cammy's ex. Oh, yeah. So Cammy got, if you watch Cammy's story, my sister's story, she talks about her experience being married in the order. And it was kind of a short marriage because <laughs> then she left. Yeah. But um, he, I guess, tried to marry your oldest sister. No, not my, not the oldest one. Oh. One of them from the wife that left. My question is, oh, I guess the oldest sister from the wife that left, right? No. No? It was the youngest sister from the life. Oh, okay, never mind. Because Sorry. she was, she didn't know very, Jesse very much because she was younger. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, my question is though, do you think if it was a son trying to get to know Jesse, that he would roll out the carpet like that? No. Mm. Mm. Well, they had, they have three girls and three boys. But he didn't care as much about the boys. Well, he, out of, let's see, he went to, mm -hmm. which graduation? Mm -hmm. For the high school graduations, he went to. He went to three of them. Where is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Not that page. Not that page. Sorry, guys. Hold on. Yeah, I, I would guarantee if it was a son trying to have a relationship with. So he went to out of the three kids that he went to their high school graduation, he only went to. It was two girls and one boy. Mm, interesting. So is it because they asked him to go? They well, no, the mom sent an invitation for every single one of them. Oh, and he only And to the first place. wife's house because she's like, well, I know you live there. You can make more. Okay. Can I just roll them up and put them on Yeah. You just left them on Yeah. You can turn the oven on 375. It only takes Eskel 30 seconds to find the good food in the house. <laughs> well, okay. Hi. And so apparently her boss had directions six months before she moved down that she was supposed to be in his family, and she had never met him. She was like a little kid when they yeah. left. So she has no like recollection of And things. apparently, I don't know if that was actual direction. To me, I think that it was just he came up with it. it yeah. Like, oh yeah, six months ago, I dreamed about her. Because they've done that before. Yeah. Anyways. I don't think he just dreams. <laughs> but she decided she would send her Cammy's ex-husband. Bye. Bye. Oh, Allison said, little junior high me thought I was supposed to marry Cammie's ex. No. Good thing you did it. Yeah, you had to double it there. Hi, Allison. That's when you're rowing her up. Welcome to show everybody. She already said hi, but she said hi again. <laughs> Harper's big noggin. <laughs> Harper. Hi, Allison. Allison's here. And then, so they had a meeting with Paul to get betrothed. And parents usually go, but Jesse said outsiders can't go to order secret meetings. Asked her which one of his wives she was close to, and she was like, no one. 
I just came back. I, I don't know anybody. The one that left you? <laughs> yeah, my mom. <laughs> but, and then she picked the last one because they had, like, talked a little bit. And after the meeting, they were wanting to take pictures of them holding hands. And she said she thought it was so weird because she had already kissed a guy and held hands and showed, like, you know how after the patrol meetings and engagements, they're like, taking a picture and yep. hold hands. Because it's the first time they hold hands, so they take a picture. And then that, that's actually how you know someone's engaged. Is that picture, picture gets yeah, sent around. You get a picture of two people holding hands and you're like, oh my gosh, they're getting married. I had no idea. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got sent those pictures. I I still get some of those pictures, mm -hmm. even after I've left. Then people are like, "Look who's getting married!" Mm -hmm. They're like <laughs> just holding hands with their little kids. Wait, so was she engaged then to this guy? Well, she was betrothed, and she said is what she said. She thought it was so weird that he couldn't be alone with her. After they were betrothed, everyone was so happy and making it seem like, "Oh, this is so amazing! Oh, look at this! Look at that!" And she was like. Okay, I guess. So she was, cause she. This is all she knew about Jesse was like, mm -hmm. and if everyone else is like hyping it up, and then you're like, yeah. I guess I'm supposed to be happy. Yeah. Well, it's like all of a sudden everyone around you is like, oh my gosh, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> How old was she? She was, I think she, it was right after high school. Oh, so she's pretty young. Yeah. And so Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Because Cammy <laughs> talks about it on Escape Before Me. Oh yeah. So and Does also. Did she say the name too? Um. Wait, you're not supposed to do that. What? That's not how you make cookies. No, she says she wants square cookies. So I was gonna just even it off out the pan. Okay. Did you read? Is his name okay. on here? You need to not do that. That's, <laughs> that's how you mess up. <laughs> Okay. But yeah, Cammy does talk about this on, on my channel and oh, wow. on Escaping Polygamy. Oh, so wow. it's the same guy. And so Cammy's ex told her that no one, no outside people could go and everything would go through Jesse. And he so none and her family could go? No, and Jesse would walk her down the aisle and she was like, no, my stepdad raised me. Mm -hmm. And like, Jesse's never been there. Like, yeah. who is this guy? Why would I all guy? of a sudden give this guy the world? Yeah. So they're trying to convince. So Cammy's ex is trying to convince this girl that only his world gets to be at the wedding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. Zac Efron. What a great guy. Allison. Yeah, Zac remember Efron. how we all loved <laughs> him in Seventeen again? A <laughs> lot of kids did. In the I order. I don't know yeah. why. Well, because look, what? Look, what, look what we had to compare it to. Eskel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look at my dad. Who was your crush in the order, Eskel? A movie it's star. Belle. Belle oh, who? Emma, Emma Watson. Emma Watson? Oh, yeah. Belle, Emma Watson. Really? I think she's cute. She's not ugly, but she's not like I wanna. What? I wanna Emma Watson is fire, okay? She's like, dare I will walk out right now. Yeah, I still have a celebrity crush. <laughs> I don't know who my so celebrity crush is. This, this could, really? Mine used to be Bradley Cooper. No. But now it's Rihanna. <laughs> she's no. playing at the halftime, right? Yeah. I love Rihanna. Anyways, sorry. Like sorry. <laughs> and so. Her ex-husband, or Cammy's ex-husband, made it seem like he wasn't going to go forward on other girls, just like he did to Cammy. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, I don't want to be married again. I'm like, painting this picture. I won't picture. Her polygamy, da, da, yeah. da, And then a week before Cammy's wedding, he drops the bomb. Yeah. Oh, I actually lied. Yeah, and so she Did he do the same thing to her? Well, they didn't end up getting married. Oh. But they had a date set and everything. And so when her brother died, Jesse wasn't oh, there, God. and she asked him about it, and he told her he was there. No, I was there. So she's like, well, I'm going to call my grandpa, someone that's not going to be lying to me. Mm -hmm. And her grandpa said, no, he, that's not true. He called, her grandpa called Paul and said, if Jesse doesn't get to the hospital in five minutes, I'm turning you guys into the police. And, and Jesse did go? Yeah. Because he said that? Yeah. So it's like, you weren't there because you cared. Mm -hmm. Well, I think he was there. Pretty sure. Wow. But no one would give her any answers. So when she came back, I remember she was asking all these questions, like obviously. And everyone was like, oh, just ask Jesse. Just ask Jesse. We can't answer that. Ask Jesse. We don't have the answers for you. Jesse does. Like making it seem like Jesse's this extravagant guy. All knowing. Blah, blah, blah. I just got up work too. And oh, she's talking back and forth. I thought she was talking to us. Never mind. Just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> and so. Do you think this will work? Or is this a bad idea? That'll Show work. the camera. That'll work. You guys, you guys be the judge. Ugh. 
Esco, have you made cookies it? before? Yeah, I've made cookies before. It's been a little while. What do you guys think? <laughs> I wanted you some square. Oil? Yeah. Some square and some circle. What oil do you put on it? One in the cupboard? Um, well, I didn't put oil on it. It just already was oil. Okay, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> what? Okay. No, that's Did you okay. preheat the oven? No, I'll preheat it right when now. It's going to beep. Oh, wait, it's on? Yeah, so it, when it beeps, you can put them in. And then it's put them in for 11 minutes. At what, 375? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what it says it's on, so. Yeah, so it's going to beep when it's preheated. Did this girl know that her dad was married to so many of his sisters? Yeah. I don't know if, I'm pretty sure, I know she knew why she shouldn't say I know. I'm pretty sure she knew. Oh, okay, are they clean? I'm pretty sure she what? knew oh, that he oh. was, a, like, a polygamist. Yeah, but maybe didn't know But I don't know if they were like her sisters. Cause when she said when she came back, she didn't know how intertwined the wives were. Yeah. Like how like crazy it was. But she she asked him, she's like, why does the order do these things? And, and she was like, okay. So what she told me was that her vision was kind of like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Anyways, <laughs> what, that one. What Allison said? Yeah, can you pick the square is gonna take longer. I forgot about that. <laughs> Anyways, we'll just have them figure it yeah, out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but so she was, she had the mindset like, okay, you want me to go to your church? You want me to join your church? Convince me. Yeah, convince me. Like, tell me what good. What's so I'm great good about it? it? <laughs> and all he did was bash the Mormon church or the LDS church. Wow. And so like he awesome. had this like. <laughs> He wasn't answering any wasn't questions. Wasn't she kind of partially LDS at some point? Well, her mom had joined the LDS church. Okay. Yeah. So what, how is that going to make her like him more that he's bashing this religion that she? <sighs> well, that's and that's the thing, and she and that's what she thought. She was like, um, "Do you know that I come from that LDS church?" Or like, mm, but well, yeah. So so do we know how long she was betrothed to this guy before she realized, "Okay, yeah, not for me." Um. She said she was down there for about a year. What? But, and he told her, that he told her, he said, you're gonna have to sell your car and close all your bank accounts. So it's like, convince me to be here. And he's like, like okay, we're gonna take all your okay. rights away. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you get here, everything gone, okay? Yeah, so it's like. Also, we hate the LDS church. <laughs> and your yeah. family's not allowed to come to wedding. Yeah, he told her that her siblings, not my dad, the person she was supposed to marry, told her that all her siblings would not be allowed at the wedding because they aren't in the order. And she wouldn't accept that, so she eventually told him she couldn't do it. She said she was too mature for them and too independent and that it wasn't going to work for her. She remembers Jesse calling the kid, like one of his kids, by the wrong name after church, and she was shocked, but then she saw like those lines after church. Like, you know how they, the lines after saying bye oh, yeah, to your dad after church? Up to and she was like, okay, yeah, I understand. She said, it was like Jesse lied about everything, and and she was like upset that no one told her how like crazy Jesse was. She's like, why did nobody tell me this? But like I said, her mom wanted her to form her own opinions, which is understandable. It's like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, because yeah. like you don't want to just bash on this person who's their dad. But it's like how? Do but at you the same time, like how, like you want to protect them. <laughs> just like what she's saying, like there's nothing nice that anyone could say. Well, I called so I called you... so many people. Because I was like thinking and I'm like, obviously I have told a lot of stories about my dad. Let's see if anyone else has anything we want to contribute. But then, like I said, there's literally <laughs> no one's but that's like, like that, no. the mother that left Jesse, the one of the wives, she probably had to like jump through like hoops to try to not talk bad about him because he's yeah. so terrible. And she did say like she wanted to, the kids, like she didn't want to hate on him because that's part of the kids mm -hmm. which is understandable and but she was like the daughter was like i'm upset nobody told me anything about jesse and how evil he was and jesse she said she never remembers jesse telling her that he was proud of her and i never remembered him ever telling me that he was proud of me yep he's only proud of himself <laughs> yeah and so okay so i asked another person describe jesse Narcissist, narcissist, narcissist. <laughs> Always been a poison. His de demeanor is disgusting. Before I was born, Jesse, so this is what this person said. Before I was born, Jesse was at my mom's house watching TV as he does. Harper, inside voices, okay? Okay, so before I was born, this is my uncle. <laughs> he said I could use his name. 
Okay. And tell him. So before I was born, Jesse was at my mom's house watching TV, like as he usually does when he comes over. And two of my older brothers wanted to watch a different show, but that was not what Jesse wanted. So he beat them, and the younger one, younger of the two, had so many purple bruises all over his face for a while afterwards. Another instance he remembers is two older boys went to a funeral dressing with Jesse and his two full sisters, and one of the boys did something that made Jesse mad, so he cho choked the other one, the lesser of the two, in, in Jesse's eyes. So How he just old? choked him out. How old were they? I don't know. He was. They were not that old. It was... They are probably like teenagers. Wow. Young teenagers. These women need to all leave him. Like you guys need, don't realize how much power he, how much power he does not have if you just leave. Yeah. He has nothing. Yeah, and he's a but, tiny little man. Like asking everyone all these things, like I never understood. I'm like everybody, do, like out of all the brothers and all of our dads, everybody says that Jesse's the worst. And I'm like, really? Like I don't like him, but like really? No, I was talking to someone actually. And then now I'm reading it, and I'm like, I see it now. Yeah. They're like, if you put a competition between all of the brothers, Jesse's definitely at the top. <laughs> and then and the worst, Daniel yeah. <laughs> and I heard that in one of my dad's mom meetings, he told the wives, the amount of times you spend with your mom and siblings, you have to spend three times that with my family. Because you didn't marry into your mom's family. You're supposed to build the tie with my family. So it's all about me, me, me. Well, yeah. How long should the cookies be for? 11 minutes. Try 11 minutes and then see. <laughs> and then it says, I know we were told my mom and my, myself, my mom and my kids, not to talk to my grandma, which is his full sister, older sister. Why? Did and her like kids her? because their dad left the order. So my mom's dad left the order. Oh my God. And he didn't want, like, remember when he was like, why, why are you <laughs> taking your niece to marry her, ask her to marry you? To a restaurant where she's allergic. Yeah. Well, it's also like funny that he's like, "Oh, you guys can't hang out with this person because they let they they whatever left the order." He's out. He's hanging out with his daughter and the mom. Well, left. and he, like, and he, he always was like, "None of my kids left. None of my kids left. None of my kids left." And I was sitting there like, the "Whole family left him. <laughs> An entire wife and her kids all left." Mm -hmm. But then I remember looking at that and I was like, "Well, Dad." I'll make sure that's not true one day. Yeah, don't you worry. I'll make you proud. <laughs> but, so we went to Case Cross this year because it's a public home house. I don't know. That's, and that's scary so, enough that you nope. just walked on the property. I gave the tickets. <laughs> I gave them the money. And the lady was like, "Have you You look familiar. Have you, have you been here before? Like she stopped herself and I was like, yeah, a long time ago, though. <laughs> and then, like, the people I was with, like, scribbled their name, and I wrote my name out, like, very clear, like, very big, so On she what? could know who I was. We had to sign the waiver. Oh. <laughs> but, so, the kid at the cross was telling the story about the cross, to, and he was telling it, like, wrong. It was not true history. But we corrected him, and he got really mad, and he was saying, and he was like, just let me tell the story. <laughs> like, and then, it wrong. And he was like, well, Christian Aventa... He died because his followers killed him because he was cheating on his wife. And I was like, oh, yeah, my dad does that, too. <laughs> After I told him I'm, he was wearing the Case Cross sweatshirt, and I was like, <laughs> he was wearing the Case Cross sweatshirt, and he, I told him, I said, I have one of those sweatshirts. And he was like, really? I didn't know that you were. And he did, like, didn't know what to say because I had just told him, oh, my dad cheats on his wife. <laughs> Like, you probably know him. <laughs> yeah. But, so growing up, there got to a point where he wouldn't even let all of his wives and a good amount of his kids know what kind of car he had. He wouldn't take one of his, he would take one of his kids' cars to a wife's house just so they didn't know what kind of car he actually Why? drove. Because he would, like, everything had to be secret. His cars were typically in my mom's names. He wouldn't even go get an oil change because my mom had to do it on his own cars. Wow. But... Yeah, so when he came to my mom's house, and you know how we had cameras. <laughs> so my mom had cameras, and on his saving plea, I had to shut them off and all that. So when he came to my mom's house, he would call her and make sure all the kids were either in the house and not looking out the windows or gone and not going to be getting home at the same time. And if, like, he's like, well, this kid's on the way home, and he, I think he would, like, drive around the, 
the like neighborhood just so he didn't get there at the same time because he was so worried about it. Like he was paranoid about I'm it. I'm glad that they're paranoid. I hear that um, the youngest one's like that too. Yeah. Has like bulletproof windows and stuff in the house. Yeah, like so a scared. bomb shelter. As they should, honestly. You guys yeah. should be paranoid because you make everyone else scared. <laughs> he wanted to have enough time to park in the garage and the, the garage door, make sure the garage door was shut. A good amount of the time, he would have my mom turn off the cameras for him to pull into the garage so we couldn't watch to see his car. Like we couldn't watch back because I had access to the camera. He was paranoid about the kids knowing what car he Yeah, had? no, on one of his wife's houses, he would take one of his kids' cars because he didn't want the wife to know. What the? But don't we know what his car is now? <laughs> so he just sold, I have heard he just sold his Acura that he had, silver Acura. Do you want to know his license? I just played, we got the social security card. Write it down, I'm get a pen and pencil. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> and the address is. <laughs> No, so he just, I heard he just barely bought a new Toyota Avalon, which is like, I think it's like a $47,000 car. Let me look it up. And he did, he did work, makes $9 an hour, remember guys? Oh my gosh, Afraid how is to he him. affording a Toyota Avalon? I have never car. heard of he that car. saving up his whole life, taking all of the child support taking for himself. Up, saving up his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen him work, though. What does he do for work? He works at, he has a company, and he, we would have... Sit in, he'd, I'd hear him sit in there listening to videos. Listen to videos. 95,000? Where, 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 where? Oh, I thought I said something else. Oh, this is not the right, um, this is not the right website. <laughs> yeah. You guys look it up? How, how, how much, much is the Toyota, Toyota Avalon? Avalon? But yet he claims poverty to the courts. I wonder if his new car is in my mom's name. Previous cars were often my mom's name, and he would make her take his car to get an oil change because he didn't have the time, or was it because he didn't want to be put in jail? Only he really knows. <laughs> Did he tint his windows? Yeah, legal. Illegal. It was limo. tinting? Wow. Limo. Is it? 2022? Yeah, how much was it? What is it the price like, on there? Thirty six. Just underneath it. Yeah. Thirty six thousand dollars. Oh wow! Is that but a that's probably one? probably. <clears throat> Did he get a new one or a used one? He probably gets. He typically gets new ones. Get off my arm. Sorry. <sighs> Nine dollars an hour. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy girl. Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> no, and his old car, when I was leaving the order, I was like, I memorized his license plate. Why? <laughs> because I wanted to, because it was again, because we weren't supposed to know what kind of car he had. So oh. then she memorized So in his, <laughs> in his silver Acura, I remember his license plate. My dad had an Acura too. Now he's probably going to get a different car. I know, I like, <laughs> now he's just barely bought it. He's going to be like, oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> he's going to pawn it off to one of his kids. That's what our dad did. He made Rachel buy his car, and he like ripped her He did off. that with some of them. Yeah. Sister Lava. <laughs> yeah, what is my dad's license plate? Let's all guess. Sister Lava. Okay, everyone put your put your comments. What is Jesse's license plate? Sister Lava, so far is our favorite. <laughs> wow, we got 292 people watching, only 64 likes, so guaranteed most of you guys are order people. <laughs> the interior is pretty nice in that kind of a car. Well, I don't think he would get that kind that color. Wait, wait, wait. Did we say oh. how many wives in total Jesse has? Oh yeah. So he had 16. Two of them left him. One of them was the second wife, and she took her six kids. <laughs> Melody Brown, you're in the lead. <laughs> yeah, anyways, the first one that left him, well, one of them that left him was his second wife. She took her six kids, six living children with her. And then another one, she didn't have any kids. But then two of them have died. Two, two so wives have died. Oh. So two of just wives have died. She didn't have they're... any kids, but two of them. No, 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 no. <laughs> the two, wives. Two of the wives died, and they're both dad's sisters that died. Oh, ooh, um, Also, right. Jesse's sisters. And then two left him. Mm -hmm. And they were both cousins, I think. So I, and, he, and the wife, she, one of them, she was like, I don't know how he, I always wondered, like, how he can sure, get down with having, like, okay. being with his sisters. <laughs> Yeah. Well, there's something definitely wrong with him. Go, go, go. Well, here's the thing, too. I've talked to people in the order who are married to their siblings, and they said that they had no idea that um, that would cause inbreeding. No idea. Because Bro, you're in the you order. Do you have a definition of inbreeding? No. <laughs> Having sex with your 
Well, no, of course, kidding. there's a reason why they don't teach you that in the order. And I, I remember arguing with this kid that was saying the government made it up that, um, yeah. that there's deformities. Like, that's not even real. Yeah. And I'm like, you think the government made it up to not... To just be mean to Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> They're out to get us. I read this thing, though. Did you judge on this? Yeah, so so his his kids go don't have basic needs like they don't have nice shoes. Some of them they show up with no shoes, no pants. Like their pants are falling down because they don't fit. Mm -hmm. And he has, as I've heard, Toyota Avalon. And you did good, Eskel. How's it look, you guys? It's I don't still the so inside. Well, I don't, it's still pretty warm, but should I keep it in the oven longer? Oh or? yes. It's kind of gooey, huh? That's very gooey. Okay. Well, and then also. The square ones might not be done all the way. Oh, yeah. You moved them back in there. But, yeah. So, if you see a Toyota Avalon on the road, go be looking out for it. <laughs> That's so Toyota, though. That's so common. <laughs> it's probably no, but a Toyota Avalon? Yeah. Those are still pretty common, aren't they? A brand new one? Sister, sister uh, husband. <laughs> I just know Toyotas are everywhere. I want to see the square cookie, LOL. Jailbird. Never yeah. been to jail. <laughs> his Arthur license plate, not Jesse. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, and then, um, so if anyone wants to know how many toys he has, he has rooms on rooms on rooms. My mom added on to her house, and my, she was like, uh, had to approve all the plans with Jesse, and was like, is this okay? Is this okay? This is what the room is for. Is this fine? Is this fine? Yes, yes, everything looks good. Everything looks good. He approved everything down to the like lines and down to where the outlets were. For his toys? No, no, so we didn't build a room for his toys. And then after it was done, and he was like, I can't believe you built onto your house and you didn't even make a room for my toys because my shed is full out there and so is that room that I have my toys inside. Oh my gosh. How, <laughs> did he have a room in each house for the toys? No, not in each house because he didn't even want all of his wives to have, to know that he has all those toys. Well, now but, you know. <laughs> yeah, but he has... So he had rooms at his first wife's house that I saw, and at his third wife's house, and my mom's house. And what is he gonna do with all those toys? Just pl play with them? No, 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 no. They don't even take them out of the box. He just keeps. And them. remember the story that I told that he told my mom go over to that kid, which is his kid. I don't have that toy yet. Go ask the mom where he got it, and if you can't find it, I need that toy from that kid. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What a loser. You know, if anyone's wanting child support from him, can't they just go find his stash of toys? There's probably a lot of money's worth in there. <laughs> Do you no. want child support? <laughs> well, go sell his toys. Somebody, so there was someone playing in the field, and <laughs> someone was playing in a field behind my mom's house, and they started a fire, and it was caught onto a, a shed next to the my dad's shed, and so the fire fires, firefighters came and like broke the door open. And he was so mad at my mom, and he was like, why, why would they do that? Why would you let that happen? And it's like, I can't, <laughs> damn, he... Betsy, I can't control the weather. <laughs> <laughs> damn, <laughs> <laughs> Um, You know what's funny? His whole entire life. <laughs> He's a loser. <laughs> just kidding. I had some stuff I was going to say, but I just feel like I've lost, I didn't think I could like. No, no, sorry, go ahead. I just, I just think I'm losing I just, respect for him. I just more. saw a comment saying about Uncle Jesse. There was a meme on Facebook and I was, saw it. It's like something about how Michelle and Uncle Jesse. So my mom's name is Michelle and the little girl on the movie is named Michelle and Uncle Jesse. And I commented and like, it said something about, oh, I have a crush on Uncle Jesse. And I said, my mom actually married Uncle Jesse. <laughs> and then somebody in my comments who didn't know who I was and she was like, Dang, really? Your mom really married Uncle Jesse? And I was like, I mean, her Uncle Jesse. <laughs> and they were like, ah. Oh. <laughs> but they actually did call him Uncle Jesse because they yeah. were supposed to call him Dad, which they also did that with David, Uncle David, which in some cases he actually was their uncle. Well, with me? Sister. Then I was like, Mom, why do we call him Uncle Jesse? Oh, because he's Grandma's brother. And he actually is yeah. related that way. And I was like, okay. And then it's like, oh, he's your dad. And I'm like, so you married your uncle? Mm hmm She did. But yeah, that was to protect them because they didn't want to get in trouble for living polygamy or incest or whatever, so then they just called him uncle. Yeah. But um so we said he has he had sixteen wives, two left him, and then two had passed away. And then how many kids do we know roughly how many kids he had? He I've counted over three hundred personally. Wow. Do you think him and Paul have the most? Probably I know David slowed down because <laughs> being in jail slowed him down a little bit. Yeah. 
He didn't stop him though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want to see a picture of him? In his costume. Wait, do you guys think anyone really even comes close to the amount of kids Paul has? I think so. Jesse? Jesse? So Jesse Big Jesse. Someone. Big Jesse's still going. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Because he has younger wives. Yeah. Paul. They make him get pregnant really fast. She was saying something about like how someone in the order had a baby and a week later they're like, hey, start trying again. Yeah. And you're wow. not supposed to. You're not trying for six weeks, but they don't care. So this is a picture of Paul in the Batman costume. Let me... Let me hide Wait, our video. Paul dressed up as Batman? Yeah, bro. Come no look way. at it. Come look at it. Oh, He's good. our hero. <laughs> I'm only <laughs> back. Well, then I'm our hero. I don't know if you guys can see him. Let's see. Yep. There you go. Yeah, there's Wait, Paul. Wait, can you tell it's him? Now look at his mouth. Look at his gross mouth. Why do you keep you sitting on me? <laughs> yes, big, big Jesse is my dad. We call him Big Big David, Big Jesse, Big Jason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Do you, now ask, now let me see Jesse. ask any questions. I feel like we covered pretty much everything. I Didn't you was... say something about Jesse having an accident? <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk about it or no? <laughs> well, I just want to embarrass the poop out of him. Well, look at his toys. Is that embarrassing Harper, enough? Harper, Auntie Rochelle wants to let's see you. She said, say Harper, hi. my love. Say hi, Rochelle. Say hi. Uh, why are you so shy all of a sudden? She'd, she'd be over there flying out the wall. That's she so literally, I, she would see me put my eyeliner on. She's like, okay, do me now. And so I would do her eyeliner and then I'd do my face. Like, okay, do them, me now. Show them the cookie. Huh? Ooh, be careful. Tell, tell them about your cookie <laughs> that you made. Cookie. Can you help yeah. Aska make it? Oh, yeah. Look at how beautiful. Ooh, I want to rip it open. Oh, yeah. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, see, here's Jesse in his Boba Fett costume. He's so... Let me show you that it's really him, because okay. Amanda's like, is that really him? Yeah, I didn't believe like, it. There's was. no way it, that's him. It's funny, I thought that he wasn't that big of a weirdo, but... Not to say that anyone who dresses oh. up like that is a weirdo, he's a weirdo because he has a bajillion kids, and he's not... And he don't take care of them. shit like this. Sorry, I'm like, I do not like him at all. <laughs> he's getting his book signed. Wait, wait, I want to see. Hey, Who's he dressed up as? 305 people that? watching. No, and so Hopefully most of them are Jesse's kids. So what, what Jesse, Big Jesse told me, my dad, was that oh, he has sorry. multiple helmets mm -hmm. of Boba Fett, and I've seen them, that he does have more than one. And he said that one of them was painted by the original painters of the movie. So no imagine cares. the money, imagine how much money that is. Oh, and don't forget, he makes $9 an hour, but pretty leggies. Yeah. So he is saving up a lot of his kids' money to make those payments. Okay, let me look and find the. Did your money go one. into his account? Did he have a CO48 account? Like, our dad had CO36. Yeah. How much rent did you guys pay to him? So, I, we transferred 44000 oh. towards. I did from my account when I was like 15, cool, I think. Huh? And then. 44000 to your dad's account? Yeah, because I was paying for part of my mom's house. The and house then, that she won't even get when she dies. And then I was paying. And then I paid $300 a month on top of that, plus interest. As a minor, too. Wait, let me find minor. my dad's 500 first picture. But again, he only makes Wait, $9 an hour. How did you get 40 grand as a minor? She was working. I worked since I was like a child. But but here's the difference. I, I worked since I was in diapers. We, we never so went over to... We never went over two thousand dollars because it was going into the bank account, which was mm -hmm. dad's. See, this is the five hundred first. It's the legion. Hard. They people who make their own costumes. They like sand them down and all that BS. They like yeah. So they have people who sign up. My dad is a storm tro certified stormtrooper. Is how he told it. I used to have a hybrid Toyota Avalon. It was forty four thousand. Do you make nine dollars an hour, Emily? <laughs> oh, here, here, as you guys are asking, don't cookie? touch it's hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. You see. guys can touch it. Should I put my finger in it? Sure. <laughs> Is it done? It's all right. Hmm. I put my whole hand in it. It's a huge cookie. <laughs> okay, so, so look, excited. if you want to look, 501st Legion member gallery. Huh. Let me find my dad for everybody. Oh, it's online? Yeah, let me look. Let me we'll find it. We'll leave the link down below. In case you wanted to see it too, Jesse. He's TK4803. Right 
He's on page like fucking way, way far. Do the. I mean, Thacken. <laughs> Thacken. <laughs> I saw you say that on your videos and I was to like, her, how does she remember? <laughs> to hurt Jesse, take away all his toys. He may legitimately die. <laughs> He'd probably cry his balls off. <laughs> have you ever seen him cry? I don't think he has emotions other than anger. I asked my mom, I said, Mom, have you ever heard him, seen him cry? And she said he cried a little bit when that fifth wife who died on Halloween, when she, at her funeral, he died, he cried a little bit. He died a little bit. <laughs> no, he doesn't die. Okay, 4803. What page am I on? Page 8. I wonder if he took any responsibility over what he had done. So I believe she was pregnant at the time, though. But I don't know. The wife sure. that died? Yeah. I've heard that. But obviously, I didn't see her ultrasound records. He should work at Toys R Us. <laughs> he actually probably would make $9 an hour. <laughs> no, I would get paid. So I would get paid to go and buy him toys, actually. Did he take it off? <gasps> There's 4801. 4809. Do you Did have to pay money to be a part of this 501 Legion? I don't think so. Hmm. Melanie's like, I have so much to say about him, but it needs to be upper level. <laughs> upper level live. Who wants to talk? I feel like this feels like an upper level. <laughs> we just talk in some act. It's not even talking smack. We're telling his history, but there's nothing good about him. Well, see, <laughs> I, tr I tried. I'm like, everybody, give me something good. And like I said, I said, I started off, I'm like, Describe him, describe him. Like a few words. Narcissist, 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 <laughs> narcissist, narcissist. I'll give you one word. The no, link. I think, I don't see him anymore. I did take a picture. Let me go find the other picture. Took a picture after I left because I was like, Didn't he make you guys dress up as Leia for his birthday? Yeah, we did. We were his servers at his birthday party. Oh my god. And gosh. we were all dressed up as Leia. Ew. And then some of us dressed up as the slave Leia. Oh. It's kind of what I mean. <laughs> Because okay, they like, really are slaves in here's their Here's another hearts. one. Jesse and his Boba Fett one. He's such a loser. <laughs> wow. He doesn't have time for his wives, but he has time for this. He doesn't have time for his kids, but he has time for this. Like, eight dollars an know. hour, guys. I what hope he's what a hard life. Why, why does he only make eight dollars an hour? No, he, no, he, he made that courts. up. He told so the courts he when one of the wives left him, and then he was like. I only make like nine dollars an hour. I am po in poverty. Wow. But he's over here buying expensive stuff. But let me. I'm trying to find it. You got a strawberry? He also made a Darth Vader costume, when but you? it didn't fit him anymore, so he gave it to. I don't know if he gave it to him or just like let the son use it. Hmm. When are you gonna start paying rent? Yeah, homegirl. I don't know. We told her. So I explained to her because she was asking me about working, and I was like. You have to work so that you can have money so you can live. And I was like, you have to do that when you're older. <laughs> and then she said, what did you say? Um, I don't want to grow up. <laughs> <laughs> and I told her, I'm like, well, you could have started working now like I did. And she was like, no, I don't <laughs> want to. I don't want to. And so, because she, she was telling, oh, that's why it was. She was telling me, she's like, mom, I want some money. And I'm like, well, to get money, then we have to go to work. And I wasn't saying she had to go. I was just telling her that that's how I get my money. Because she's like, Mom, where do you get your mom money from? And then I told her all the process of getting paid and going to work. And she's like, I'll just ask my Nana. <laughs> she got mad at me. She's like, Amanda, did you have a popsicle? And I was like, oh, uh, yeah, last night. And she's like, you have to ask. And you I was like, I did. I asked Michelle. And she, he was like, did you ask my dad? <laughs> and I was like, I think your dad was sleeping. And she puts her hands on her hips and she's like, I'll go ask him. She's like, Dad, were you sleeping last night when Amanda wanted a popsicle? <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> She's like, you have to ask both, huh? You have to ask both my parents. <laughs> Was you mad that I took a popsicle? No. Hello. Yeah. Hello. It was very good. So thank you. Harper, come in. Okay, now we can open it up for questions while yeah. she's looking at these pictures. <laughs> I have like over 13,000 It's not slander if it's true. Yeah. Look, that's the one go. I was talking about last night. <laughs> then Dustin's like, I don't remember that. Oh, what the? It, yeah. What the? What and the I was asking you? her how, how she like fell in love with this girl's dad. I don't know if I fell in love. <laughs> Oh. Wow, you're taking after your mother. Oh, Just oh, kidding. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, I like Dustin. He can stay, I guess. Just kidding. 
And people are like, so, like so he just like watches the kids, and I'm like, well, he, like he's their dad. He watched him while me and Michelle went out. Huh. Daddy babysat, and we went out. No, he doesn't babysit. He be a parent. Oh yeah, I call it babysitting because that's. What I'm not an, uh, an adult. Somebody donated. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Christina. Oh, she donated Christina on yours, Fisher. too. Yeah. Thank That's the biggest shock about the outside world. That people, we don't get beat every every turn, and we don't get yelled at. Yeah. Honestly, that's mine. <laughs> Actually, when I um, was first dating, then the person put their arm around me. And as they were putting their arm around me, I flinched, and they were like, why oh, are you I flinching? I did that when I first, like, left, and I was, like, flinching over everything, and I would, like, get, like, yeah. really scared, and people thought it was funny, and I was like, <laughs> it's not funny, it's, it's a sign of being abused. <laughs> no, and then, we're falling a lot. And then <laughs> at my new job, I started, and I was like, I'm, is it okay if I go to lunch now? Is it okay if I leave? And they're like, if you want. You're like, no, you did you work your hours? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, we don't have to ask everything, and we're not going to get beat here. Wow. <laughs> Melanie, that's a good joke. She's like, I'm surprised he didn't dress up as Luke since he's kissing his sisters. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. Oh, he named Maybe one of his kids Luke. Maybe that's why he liked Star Wars so much. Isn't Ooh. that fraud? Isn't what fraud? Saying his kids aren't. Thank you, Sloan. Send you an instant message else. that I'm rewriting the ABCs in order to be supportive of myself and not traumatizing. Oh, I love that. I... Me and Rachel actually did that when we were in the order. We were like, K is for kiss. I'm going to kiss everyone I see because <laughs> we were so frustrated. I would love to read that. Send it to me on Instagram. Thank you, Caroline. Do you think Jesse's a jerk because of his environment or was he born that way? You're all, all the above. way better people than him. I well, think, you're not born a jerk. No, I think oh, what she was saying, he was a baby. He is was it baby. Is it nurture versus nature? Yeah. Nature versus nurturing. Yeah. That's what she's asking. So in a in a perfect world, if he had a good environment and his parents didn't like put him on this pedestal and make him think he was better than the rest, maybe I he think he would have like had that. a better chance. But I think it's he's still there at heart. I believe. I. But believe. you look at it. I mean, yeah, maybe it's maybe he's just evil deep to his core, like Michelle says. Well, because <laughs> people who knew him as kids, like even my grandma would say, like when growing up, it's like he was always a brat. You have to think of it this way. You look at LaDonna's boys, they're all like that. You look at Paul's firstborn, like the first wife's kids, they all are like that too. And they guess what they have in common? They were put on a pedestal their whole life. They were given women from the age of 16. The, what know? does everybody, what does certain people love to hear us say? Oh, it's just Paul's kid. Paul's kid. I'll say, I'll say it for you. Amanda, I like your glasses. Thank you. Do I still talk to my dad? Blind. No, he actually blocked me after I told him happy birthday the first year that I left. I said, <laughs> happy birthday, dad. And he was like, oh, what a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm just Does dad say happy birthday to you? No. Yeah, no, like, two years ago, he came to my birthday party, though. He did? Yeah. No, I was he invited? I told him more mm -hmm. than just happy birthday. Oh, I, okay. I said, I said, the truth comes out. No, I said, happy birthday. I always tried to be a good daughter, but I was never going to be good enough. And I felt like I had to leave. So it wasn't rude, but it wasn't like, it wasn't just happy birthday. It's like, that takes, like that's good. And honestly, I'm going to block you. <laughs> well, he blocked me, yeah. And I... It's because you have to, you make him... Stomach the pill of reality, yeah. and he doesn't like it. So I'm like, I was never, gonna, I was never gonna be good enough for you. Yeah, Baba thanks. Oh, yeah, I think she thinks he's more genetically evil. I think that there well, was a, no, lot I think a lot of Madonna of making it that way. Because yeah. how can you have seven kids who are who all end up like that? This is how I found out that I was the 51st kid. I went through pictures. I know. I'm like, no. I went through, and I was like, okay, this person's older than me. This person's older than me. Like, do you want your birthday? Oh, does anyone have my birthday? Sorry, I'm like, grandma. Yeah, that's Two people have my birthday. Oh, this is how I went through to see who's gonna have Harper's birthday. Then I was like, they have these in the order, by the way, for a lot of families because there's so many kids and it's so hard to keep track. Okay, look. Wait, 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 wait. We we should cover it with um like tape or something. Oh yeah, put that paper in front, and then. You can, you can you can keep Daniel's ugly face in there. Daniel's birthday's in here? Yeah, it's May 13th, I think. Is it? Yeah, May 13th. Oh my Wait, gosh, why would his be in there? He's not in your family. You're no, he's my dad's brother. Oh. You're going to show the face, No, it's fine. It's right okay, here. Okay. No, I got it. Oh. See? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's me. Wait, that's your enzyme photo? No, it's not no, enzyme. I went, to, I went to outside school. Oh, what? 
Look, you want to see Big Jesse? So I went through hot on this counter. You're like scaring me. Bitch, <laughs> I'm fine. I went through and I was like, okay, does anyone have oh, a birthday? Nico's, Nico's birthday? Nico's birthday? <laughs> I didn't remember. No one does? No. Yay. Not since 2015. And then on Harper's birthday, I was like, look, I was like, I can't, she can't be born on this date. She can't be born on this date. She can't be born on this date. Wait, have we had some of David's Did kids two and they married in? Oh, they together? married into the family, yeah. so then they get to be. I have a picture of them when they were like way young, yeah. holding hands yeah. on the couch. Well, Dave, me too. I did. I got think it I gave you. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, and look, David's Jesse's kids birthday. are in here, so that means da a lot of David's and Jesse's kids married each other. Yeah. See Jesse's birthday, like I said. You going? Huh? I forgot that we even told you Jesse's birthday. Jesse's birthday, July thirteenth, nineteen sixty-seven. Is a Leo? When my when please say he's not a Virgo. Oh, is July 17th Leo. He seems like a Leo. <laughs> Come on. Dear Leo, July 17th. Yep. Mm -hmm. Leo. Leo's? Okay, not no, to I shame Leo. Cancer. He's a cancer. No, he's not. He is? This is cancer. <laughs> no. No. What zodiac is July 17th? What zodiac? Is July seventeenth. Why does it say cancer right there? But cancer is before July. Cancers. Cancers are committed. When's a Leo? Oh, the beginning of August. Yeah, My mom and, and, and of him of August are, are cancers. Then. Or the begin, beginning of August and end of July. Wow. Yes, he's a cancer. Who would have thought? Wow. Couldn't tell July. <laughs> Mm, interesting. <laughs> Not a Virgo, and we wouldn't claim him anyways. <laughs> July is Cancer, yes. Oh! My so, huge Leo ego can't handle it. <laughs> I love Leos, but they always are like the center of attention. But they always, it's for a reason, because they bring okay, people so, to them. Okay, so Jesse's daughter who left and came back, said he drove his son's Eldon's car, which is my brother's car, when he took me to... Rodizio. When wow. he went to Why did he do that? Just so they can Because go. because people can't know his car. Oh, that's funny. Wow. Well, anyone in the order who wants to let us know what he's driving after this, let us know. Yeah, just give me a call. Or Paul. Does Paul still drive that Cadillac? I don't, I don't know. know. Did you know I told Dustin I'm like, there was this person at work. I saw him drive this car and I knew I couldn't be friends with him because they drove the same kind of car as Paul. <laughs> it sucks, but like whenever I meet someone with the name Paul, I just instantly like, I hope I never see you again. <laughs> no, do you remember when Allison said that she met someone who was like, oh my heck, your baby's so cute, what's his name? And she asked the ba other baby's name in return. She's like, like John Daniel. And it's like, that's so cute. <laughs> I hope I never see you again. <laughs> just I like, oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay, I feel like this is turning into a Patreon live and I'm scared, so we should You're go. You're like blocking the like, please stop. Oh my god. Do you guys want to go live on Patreon? Then we don't have to be filtered. Baby girl, I'm fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh. Please like and subscribe. Set up oh, thank you, Lulu. Cadillac, of course, Cadillac practically screams cult leader. <laughs> yes, it does. Who gave her sugar? I'm pretty Esco? sure. I'm pretty sure Esco brought him butter out of her room. I did. <laughs> I'm standing in the corner right now. So don't get mad. At, don't get mad at her. Should I take her back in? Will you go to bed? Or no? Or no? <laughs> Esco okay. said to push over. <laughs> you can, but maybe probably not, right? I don't think she ate any cookie though. So hopefully she she's had not one sugar. before. You guys are funny things. I asked the question. What did Rachel ask? Oh my heck! Remember yesterday when we went to we went somewhere and they were like listening to our conversation. And they're like, you guys should open like a restaurant and just listen, have people listen to your conversations because they're wild. That's why if you saw my Instagram story and Michelle was trying to tell the the waiter that she's inbred. So and he's we like, were, that's illegal, and I'm like, I don't think it is. No, we were leaving the restaurant and he's like, you guys should just open a place and just let people hear your banter. It's so entertaining. And we're like, and you we, haven't even heard the worst. Yeah, of I was it. like, tell him, Michelle. Tell him, Michelle. <laughs> and then um and then she told him <laughs> and then, and then we, let, we were literally like do you guys need do you guys have therapists and they're like no and like do you want ours after here <laughs> they're like no can you leave no, and, and i asked i always ask people just to make them uncomfortable and see what their reaction will be i'm like do i look inbred <laughs> what's the response usually they're like no, no. <laughs> 
she just sits there. I'm as like, they're like, I watch them squirm. <laughs> squirm in her That's breath. where Harper gets her. <laughs> <laughs> Making me uncomfortable. But Harper, I asked Harper, I'm like, oh, yeah, never mind. Oh, sorry, Rachel, I didn't see your question. And but I guess no, Jesse's the Jesse's the second youngest son and the second youngest child. So the last two are boys. Okay. So okay. it goes should I just read all the boys' names and just skip the girls? Yep. So okay. it goes Joe. He passed away. My grandma. Okay. Daniel Hiram. Mm, Paul, I think. And then, Which is interesting that Paul became the leader. He's not even the oldest. And there's and a then backstory on that. the other right. sister. And then David, Jesse, Jason. Wow. Are you Jesse's watching? the second youngest. Oh, and my grandma, she used to tell us house stories that she would take David and Jesse to high school with her. And they would, like, sit by her desks. Is it glitching? Um, did you guys hear that... Uh, did we say this on a live before? That um, Daniel caught his kids watching us on on like no? youtube yeah and then he literally was like okay well if you're gonna watch it everyone go in one room so you don't give them more views <laughs> that's good. interesting they were not like try to stop him well I'm sure sure. what, what can you do look at daniel what yeah. are you gonna do like he Alice has like, a limp like allison <laughs> said i i knew that if i he made me mad enough all i had to do was kick him in the wrong leg <laughs> in his bad leg <laughs> Yeah, he's actually been mellowing out because he's getting so old. But and Paul's like, "What the hell are you doing?" He like mm -hmm. will come and yell at him. And that's the thing. When I was growing up, then if my dad would like piss me off, and I would go tell my mom, and she's like, "Well, you just have to listen to what dad says." And I'll be like, "Okay." And then I go to my grandma and be like, "Grandma, my dad's being stupid." And she like, "Yeah, he is." And then she would, <laughs> and then she would go like. Sometimes she would talk to him, and sometimes she would just go to Paul and say. You need to like tell Jesse to knock it off. And Paul would? Yeah. Because my grandma's older than all of them. My grandma's the oldest of the siblings, oldest of the living siblings now. Sometimes I feel like mm. Paul's like ready to just quit his job as a cult leader and run away somewhere. <laughs> because wouldn't you be like, I'm That's sorry. That's why he went but to then, India. But then he gets the, <laughs> that money and he's like, actually I could do it more weeks. <laughs> like, hear ye, hear ye. Y'all need to give more money. Okay, bye bye. Well, no, he would say that in church. He's like, you guys really need to save money, mm -hmm. and we're really hurting for money right now. And then all of a sudden, he buys a boat, and all of his boys go on a boating trip. Meanwhile, these kids over here starving for that boat. Bitch. <laughs> hey, -ho. how active are y'all in helping people escape now that you're not doing the show anymore? We always have our, like, I have people DMing me a yeah. lot, but they it's usually like, what are my options? Like they're kind of tiptoeing in that area because a lot of the times it's like it's a lot. We do what, we do what we can. Yeah, but um, he named the he named what did Paul name the boat? Let's guess. Wait, he named the boat. Tipsy, tipsy, nipsy. <laughs> Sister's booty. Oh, I'm just <laughs> okay, this is not a Patreon. Should we go on Patreon right now? <laughs> what was I just saying? What were we just saying right before that? Oh, I had before I cut you off. I just forgot. Oh, we do what we can when we're helping people leave. We do yeah. what we can. Um, it's sad though because there have been people who just like pretend that they yeah. want to leave and they kind of like waste our time because they want to be like that. And so sometimes it's hard to know which ones are actually wanting to leave and which ones are just... And sometimes people leave and go back. <laughs> yeah, that definitely has happened. But we've helped and we, we try to help as much as we can, but also... Michelle's a mom, she's got kids, so we try to refer them to holding out help or any resources they need. And some of them are minors, so that's why we made that video on how to get emancipated. But um, it's a lot harder for um, people with kids to leave. That you, It's a lot more rare to see that. It has happened. It's not, I wouldn't say it's harder. Like mentally, you're still going through the same stuff. It's just like you have to... Make sure your kids are gonna survive. It's I guess it's harder mentally. Yeah. Not like physically, because you still they, there's still people who have houses that mm -hmm. like are willing to help. And and what they did to my mom was they guilted her through her kids. They used her kids against her. Like oh your kids are we're having dreams that they're dying and they're gonna die if you don't come back or you know just yeah. silly stuff like that. Anybody else think we need to add anything about Jesse? Does anyone have a good thing to say? Jesse, are, are you here? <laughs> well, there's other ones, but you can have that one. That one is. Pedialyte, so it tastes Make sure you tell salty. Harper that you did ask. For I don't like them. Amanda had one last I night. I did like she said she's a good. Okay. It's really good. Yeah. Anyone else have anything else to say about Jesse? I'm hoping for the class. Oh, he's also the quorum president. 
Oh, quorum president, yep. In the church. He's mm -hmm. the quorum president for the men's. And my mom, when I left, my mom was the quorum president for the females. What does that mean? He does the talks for them? They help direct, like, the scheduling and who's going to talk and who's assigned the lessons and what the lessons say. <laughs> Rochelle, that's a per Patreon. <laughs> yeah, go to Patreon oh, if you want to see that. Look at Rochelle's comment. <laughs> Did you know that? Oh, I didn't know that. No. <laughs> He's probably mm -hmm. actually pooping his pants right now. Oh my head! Right <laughs> I was going through pictures with some like some person on the outside, and they had never been in the order. I was going through some of my pictures, and they saw a picture of my mom. <laughs> mom, I'm gonna tell them the story. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've done worse. <laughs> no, so no, my mom, awesome. it showed a picture of my mom's butt and it was like, she peed her pants. And then he's like, why do you have that picture? And I'm like, because she peed her pants on Beverly Hills by the Beverly Hills sign. Why? And he was like, so why did she take a picture? And I was like, I don't know. Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> why did she pee her pants? Was she laughing and then she peed? Yeah, we were laughing. Oh, that's actually a cute story. Plus, when you have that many kids, it probably is really hard not to pee your pants every day. Yeah, <laughs> guys, something good about Jesse is here I am. <laughs> the biggest blessing of all, he helps create Michelle. Not really, probably took him like three seconds, but. <laughs> yeah, never now. Anyways, you let's kind of find the hole. <laughs> Patreon! We need to be on Patreon right now. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get demonetized. Okay, thank you for watching. Just forget that last part. <laughs> I forget that we can't add, edit on this. We can't edit! <laughs> what you see is what you get. Okay, you wanna say bye before oh, mommy gets us demonetized? Oh, I already did. I'm sorry. Say bye! Say bye. bye guys. Owen, Jesse's grandchild. <laughs> Here she is. Hi, okay, say bye. bye.